Hey guys, what's happening? This is Forgo Nation, and today we're going to have a little more fun with Magneto. I've been getting some requests to see how well this guy can do with a CTP of Rage, and I thought we would test him and put him up against Ebony, who actually takes a lot more damage from elemental characters, which Magneto is not. Magneto is an energy-based character, which is which still means he's going to do damage to Ebony. But what we're going to do today, guys, is we're going to throw in two different sets of strikers to see if he can go all the way to 99 with two different sets. The only common denominator in both of those uh, sets is Weapon Hex. That's pretty much it. If you want to go to 99, I don't care what character you have, you need Weapon Hex. It's just the way it is, guys. Sorry. Talk to Marble. Maybe they can queue up something to help that out in the future. So let's take a look at old boy's build. He has 43,700 energy attack, he has 120 attack speed, max crit rate, he has 171 critical damage, which will be maxed out in the runs, and we'll talk about that later. He has 49% ignore defense, he has max skill cooldown, and he has 46% dodge, which is actually hurting him quite a bit as far as his damage. If this was at 75%, he would have a lot more damage from that CTP of Rage. All of his slots are amplified. He has all five star Rurus. All of his skills are at six. He has a fully awakened Power of Angry Hawk set. And he's rocking the CTP of Rage, of course. Do -do 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 -do. And he only has an advanced uniform. So this thing still could be getting a lot of extra stats, some extra critical damage, some extra all attack, dodge, you know, what have you. You know, we're missing a lot of stats because this thing isn't maxed out. So uniform option. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have Rocket Raccoon, and I haven't worked on him at all because I just don't have uniform chips. <laughs> so, yeah, it is what it is. So, guys, let's take him into the action, and let's rock and roll. All right, guys, so in the first run, we're, we got Warwolf on the team because he's going to have that extra 30% critical damage to Magneto, and he also has that guaranteed 20% guaranteed critical rate, which is going to help proc the CTP of Rage. We also have Shuri to decrease the damage received by 35%, and increase the damage dealt to supervillains by 45%. You see the strikers I'm using, guys. We got Captain American Weapon X, the combo, of course. We're using Anti-Venom for heals because we absolutely need him. That poison will absolutely destroy Magneto. He pretty much has the durability of a piece of paper. Uh, he's easy to rip apart, guys. Uh, we have Kingpin to decrease the cooldown of the co-op skill. And we have Rachel for the mind control. Even though Magneto does have paralysis on his third skill, it, it only lasts for about three seconds. And you really want to keep Ebony locked down as long as you can. So that's why we're using Rachel. And this is just the first run, guys. And I'm going to show you another run where he can still do stage 99, changing these strikers. Uh, it's pretty simple, guys. You know, it's just... 4, 2, 5, let the 5 play out, 1, 3, when there's 1 second left on the proc, hit the 3rd skill, then go 4, 2, 5 again, let the 5 play out, hit the 1, then when there's 1 second left on the proc, hit the 3, and then you might want to hit the 1 skill to trigger the proc, hit your tier 3, once he throws out his hand, then hit the co-op skill, hit the 4, then the 2, 5. The trick to what I'm doing, guys, uh, with Captain America and Weapon X as the strikers, since Captain America is only going to come in when we're being attacked, it's only when we're using that co-op skills when he's actually going to be brought in. And you need him with Weapon X to really get that 100% all defense down quickly. So what, you're do what you want to do is, because Magneto has all defense down on his second skill, you don't want to use that before you use the co-op. So we're going to run around. Run around here a little bit. Here we go, here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, we're going to go ahead and wait. We're going to wait. Alright, here we go. Now, the only all defense down that's applied is weapon hexes. There's that proc. Now, you notice I didn't hit the two skill at all. We're going to let the tier three. We're going to hit the co-op. Four, two, five. And then boom, look at that damage, guys. Freaking insane. Insane, man. And honestly, I wish I'd have done this with a CTP of energy. Uh, because I believe he could have still have done it, guys. He's I really think he could have. But I don't have the crystals to sit in unequip CTPs and unequip obelisk and equip obelisk. So I'm just not gonna do that. So right now, we're not gonna hit the second skill in this next rotation. We're not gonna hit the two skill. 
We're going to wait, try to engage that proc. There's the proc. We're going to hit the tier three. I didn't hit the two skill, guys. Don't let, don't apply your all defense down until after you use the co-op and then hit the two five. Now there we got screwed because Ebony went into an iframe. He completely canceled everything we just did, so we didn't get nothing. So we just lost all that damage, which really sucks. But no big deal, no big deal. We'll get him in the next run. So what I'm doing is I'm watching that co-op skill. I got nine seconds left. And I'm going to make sure I don't use the second skill. I'm going to make sure I don't use the second skill. The all defense down for Magneto lasts for five seconds. So when you have five seconds left on your co-op skill, don't use your second skill. Use other skills. Then you're going to use your co-op later and then do four, two, five. You can watch what I'm doing and see the, my little strategy here. But you'll notice in the next run, guys, I'm going to change that up a little bit. Because I seem to have better luck if I do. It's kind of weird, but... All defense sounds pretty funky sometimes. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're waiting, waiting. Okay, I got five seconds left on the co-op. I'm not going to use the second skill. I hit the one. There's our tier three. And one thing about having a rage is I'm not so worried about keeping the proc lined up. But I'm still doing the exact same rotation with the rage that I did with the CTP of energy, guys. It's the same exact rotation. But with a rage, you really don't have to worry about messing up too much. And we're going to do this one more time, one more time, and then I think we're going to pause it. Because we might end up murdering old boy. And we don't want to clear this because we still got one more run we got to try to do. And I'm still trying to get those combat books, so I don't want to clear Ebony anyways. Here we go. And look at that. 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 Look at that, guys. 29 seconds left. Tell me this guy can't do this. He can definitely freaking clear this thing with Shuri and Warwolf. That's freaking crazy. So let's move on to the next run. All right, guys. So in this run, we're going to it's the same exact team, but the difference is I switched out Rachel for Scarlet and Captain America for Sue Storm. We're still using Kingpin to decrease the cooldown of the co-op skill. Still got Weapon X and still got Anti-Venom. And this is going to be a little different because now I will use that second skill before I go and use my co-op. It's really funky, guys. Depending on where your all-defense down strikers are coming in, at what time, which one's coming in first. Really, It really makes it pretty RNG-based. It's not as consistent, but you just saw that damage there. It's not as consistent as Captain America Weapon Hex, but it doesn't mean you still can't do it. It doesn't mean you can't do it. As long as you have Weapon Hex and you got Sue, or maybe even uh, maybe even Negasonic would be all right as well, but although her all defense down lasts for 10 seconds, so that's kind of kind of hurts you, actually. But if you notice, guys, you know, we're going to hit the co-op, the tier 3 here. We're going to hit the co-op, then we're going to go 4, 2, 5. And look, we're not getting as much damage as we did with Captain America Weapon X. And that's what I mean. When you're running with Cap and Hex, the all defense downs are, are more uh, regular because Captain America doesn't come in and does his all, all, do his all defense down. His all defense down is not countering Weapon Hex. The only time he comes in is when you're hitting the co-op skill. But with this setup, with these strikers, Sue is coming in all the time, and Rachel, and I'm sorry, Scarlet is coming in. They attack when you're attacking, and Scarlet has all defense down. Sue's offering all defense down. So depending on which one applies your all defense down first depends on whether or not you're going to get that 100% all defense down. Weapon Hex has to apply ours first. So I'm just running through the rotations, guys. I, I am using the all defense down on Magneto's second skill. I tried doing what I did in the run with Captain America and Weapon Hex and not using the second skill five seconds before the co-op skill was off cooldown. And I found I had more luck when I was actually using the second skill uh, with, all, with all of these strikers that you're watching right now. It's really funky, but I thought I'd share this with you guys, something a little bit different. And just to show you guys that, you know, you don't need Captain America and Weapon X. But the thing is, Sue, you got to pay a lot of crystals for. And Captain America, you're going to get completely free. And you're just going to have to spend, you know, some crystals for a uniform. It's actually much cheaper. So most people would actually use the Captain America Weapon X thing more often. But a lot of people don't have uh, Rachel. So that's <laughs> something else to think about. You know, and by the way, guys, you can switch out Sue Storm and put in Captain America 
and just use just bring in Scarlet and have Scarlet and Weapon X in there, and then use your co-op skill the same that I've been using you know, at the same timing that I'm using it in this video. But she, he, he's definitely doing it, guys. He's definitely on pace to clear this stage. I would say he's um, maybe a little bit further behind, but look at that damage, man. Look at that damage. Almost two bars. So yeah, you can still do a lot of damage. It just won't be as consistent as Captain America Weapon X. But still amazing. And still powerful. You know, loving freaking Magneto. Jesus, he's so awesome, man. And something else that's nice about this setup is sometimes, you know, Weapon X will fire all defense down and... Because they're attacking when you're attacking, Sue Storm will come in afterwards, and you'll get that 100% all defense down real quick. And yeah, it's it's pretty sweet. This is this is actually a lot easier than the Captain America Weapon Hex thing because Ebony's under my control the entire time. You know, Scarlet has a 10 second mind control. You know, they come in every three seconds, so that mind control stays on throughout the entire fight, making it pretty easy to keep Ebs locked down. Here we go. See how much damage we do now. Co op, four, two, five. Boom, man. Look at that. That is sweet. That is sweet. So we are doing pretty good, guys. I'm actually going to have to pause it here because I'm getting a little worried. So we only have a bar and a half to go, guys. We have plenty of time to get it done actually this is pretty much about on the same pace as captain america web x maybe just a little bit slower but still can clear stage 99 so yeah two sets of strikers not the most powerful team and still gets it done with an advanced uniform so guys let me know what you think about magneto tearing it up and i hope you enjoy the video thank you for watching y'all take care and have a good one